Hey there folks, Ralph here, so it's uh, my head's in the way. I'm outside Daybreak Studios, and uh, for those who don't know, I do, I work here now. <laughs> and so, uh, moving to California, uh, like I, I didn't work in-house before, I worked remotely as an independent contractor, and, and now I'm here. So uh, we'll take you inside, and probably not do a whole lot, but I wanted to at least get uh, an update video out so that you'll, you know what's going on. <laughs> All right, so I'm inside, and uh, this is cool. It's like a, a wall of making history, and you have the official, or the original EverQuest design docs here, March uh, 1996, and other games and achievements and, and that sort of thing, and it goes you know, just the uh, the timeline, Star Wars Galaxy's Rip. <laughs> uh, Plan aside, the original. Signed uh, discs and such. Champions of North, I actually didn't know that Sony, or that uh, SOE put that out. Yeah, Quest, uh, I don't know what the Pizza Hut thing's about. Uh, oh, okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, <laughs> and then, you know, all the, all the fun stuff. Tell uh, about where we're at today. So, PC Gamer, Magazine, Cloud Sento, Landmark, etc. Daybreak. So, uh, for those who don't know, I'm, well, I, I'm, I'm here wicked earlier right now, so I didn't want to bother anybody with uh, just the videos and the awkwardness and everything else. But for those who don't know, I, <laughs> since I moved to California, I don't have a computer, so this is about the best you're going to get as far as uh, video content, and I've been trying to uh, track down or like pin down the development team to like sit and do uh, an interview with me or whatever, but <laughs> I'm kind of uh, camera shy. So I'll, I'll just continue to give you like some bits and pieces and we'll see how far this goes. And just outside the break room we have all of these computers. Normally it doesn't look like this, it looks like more, uh, more of an, you know, like a theater sort of setup, but they're getting ready for the H1Z1 uh, open invitational, which is going to be a, <laughs> a really big thing. But, uh, yeah, little theater room. This is actually right outside the break room. So we're upstairs now, and uh, there's two floors. And he's in the wall. This floor is similar to the one downstairs. But there's a wall full of fun stuff from EverQuest. Hi, good morning. <coughs> Pictures. All over the place, actually. One thing I want to do. Check this out. I was trying not to uh, not to record the other guy walking in the hallway, but what is look at this action right here? Where's this? Like magic. Hope you uh oh, core combat. Penny arcade. All right, so check this out. Gaming is in our blood. We are living the dream, and bam, Indar. It's so indoor. It's like this thing is massive. It's actually, uh, what was that, maybe uh, 20 feet by 20 feet? If I had to guess. Yeah. And when you walk by it, so you got this little curved hallway, right? Uh, when, when you walk by it, it won't matter for you. But the thing is soundproofed. So out of your right ear, you can't hear. <laughs> like, you can't hear anything. It's really, um, it's a really uh, strange experience, at least for me. And then there's another smaller break room up here, and, and then you get into into some offices. I don't want to record any like computer screens or any anything too personal, but I'll show you my small little undecorated workspace as well. My little workspace. I have uh, a couple computer monitors. This one on the left is actually wicked sick. Actually, I want to say that it's like the same as mine at home, like a little bit bigger to the to left and right, but. Uh, the computer is kind of bad, whatever. And the modern sovereignty pad and that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, so this is where we're at. Every day we'll play it. It's, uh, you got your cubicles, which is kind of an interesting thing for me because I've never worked in. Hold on, let's turn the camera around real quick. Alright, so yeah, it's kind of an interesting experience for me because I've never worked. Uh, in a place with cubicles. I, like my first job, I was, you know, packing groceries, like I'm sure many other people, 
have had to do. Then I was a janitor, and then I was a janitor again. Um, and actually, those were interesting opportunities because I got to, like, be my own almost boss. Like everything, I just kind of like took care of. And this was up on the. Um, this is the. Uh, uh, it was on a military base, so I took over for the guy who, who was in charge prior, and that was just when I was a teen. And then, uh, what? Maybe a year later, I was running Chinese food. Uh, delivery so again not in the cubicle I never had to hold down um, actually you know, after that I what, what was I doing serving as a waiter and and then what? Oh, then I basically just joined the military so did the Navy got out started doing a I just started doing YouTube while I was in the Navy and then um, then after that that's kind of kind of got me here so yeah, I had a lot of uh, freedoms and opportunities and <laughs> that sort of thing. But anyway, so uh, this is the best I could do as far as a video. I'm not even looking at the camera. Um, uh, so when I want to get my computer. When I want to get a place to stay. Then we can, we can, uh, yeah, start making videos again. And actually, what <laughs> I, I can start playing the game again, which I, I haven't been able to do um, for a while. But I have been here fixing things, fixing so many, like a little, uh, just, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, they're not huge, but they are issues that the community has felt for years. So like Zoe, like, soon, I think I'm going to fix the ranger today, uh, you know, the trap, the face shift, the, uh, the Empire specific AV weapons, you know, turning those down, uh, motion sensors, motion spotters or whatever. And just just kind of running through it all, and uh, and pulling it back in a line, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll try to track down some of the devs, and maybe we can get another video up. I know Tony uh, Radar Radar X is more than willing to do like uh, an interview, so maybe we can do one of those. Not so great on the iPhone. I apologize, but uh, again, that's about all I can manage. So thanks very much, folks, and uh, we're all signing off. I'll keep you updated.